Hello Augies Worldwide, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. In this next little series of episodes, I'm going to take a question from hamradioanswers at gmail.com or you can put it into the same pod actually by going to ke0og.net slash ask hyphen Dave. It's a form you can fill out there which gets sent to hamradioanswers at gmail.com. Our question for today comes from um, Rod W3MPG and this is the question right here. It says, after watching the What Am I Tuning episode, I have a question. I just ordered an ALS 1306, which is a 1200 watt amplifier from MFJ, and plan to use it with my Kenwood TS 890, which is a 100 watt radio, and an MFJ 998 auto tuner, which is a 1500 watt tuner. Will I get good results with an auto tuner or do I need a manual tuner since it is not an SDR radio? Uh, from Rod W3MPG. Well, let's take a look uh, at uh, how this goes. We've got a radio here, which is the TS890. TS890. Going to an amplifier. And this is the ALS, it's a solid state radio, uh, 1306 solid state amplifier, and it's 1200 watts max. Okay, now, one of the things to know about uh, tuners is that uh, if you've got a high SWR, uh, there may be some very high voltages in the tuner you have to have an amplifier that's rated for a higher power than the amplifier that you have. You've got an, a tuner here which is the MFJ998 by the way the ALS is an Ameritron amplifier but Ameritron is an MFJ company so and then this goes out to your antenna and uh, you can, um, if you're not going too far, you can use RG8X, but I would really suggest RG213 or LMR400 for this coax here. This coax right here can be RG8X or any of those right there. This one here has to be that too. Okay? Now, his question is, this is not an SDR radio. Okay, now, SDR is a method, I'll call non-SDR radio. SDR is simply a method of how to make the innards of the radio work. It has no impact at the output point. Okay, so you can go from that into your amplifier, which doesn't care, what your radio is, there will be an ALC feedback and a transmit uh, feedback that's equivalent to push to talk and then the this thing running at probably close to 100 watts um, running into this thing, you get 1200 watts out but note that you're going to get some uh, feedback so you're not only dealing with the 1200 watts coming this way but something coming back. On single sideband or CW that's not a problem On FT8, first of all, you should not be running an amplifier on FT8. It is a low power mode. Okay? Now, let's talk about tuning this thing. When you tune this, turn this off or straight through, and the power will go straight through. So what you'll be tuning with is 100 watts. Okay, and then that can have its fun. And then when that is set, you've got 50 watt or 50 ohms here. Okay, and you have 50 ohms here because it's a straight through, pass through. 50 ohms there. I know I'm, I'm a terrible artist. My wife got all the talent. Um, 
So this is the setup that you're dealing with. Tune the radio with the amplifier in bypass or just plain off. Okay, then kick the amplifier on once you've got it tuned. Okay, for single sideband and CW, you are at the peak power so seldom, just on voice peaks that uh, it's not going to be a problem if there's a lot of reflected energy. If you do something where you're trying to run this thing at like RIDI or something like that, you're going to have to back down on the power because this is really 1200 watts only on sideband and CW. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so I think that answers your, your question, Rod, and uh, uh, good luck with it. So there you are. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you can by going to decastlercom slash support and looking for ways to do that. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, please press that like button or provide whatever feedback you like. I particularly enjoy your thoughtful comments. Until we next meet, 73.